anything about wrestling for years and I've watched TNA wrestling for years like I have for the better part of the last year, I say 10 through 15 years, you know who AJ Styles is. So we don't really re have to be reintroduced out of the whole character of AJ Styles. Maybe the new generation who have no clue who AJ Styles is does need to be introduced to AJ Styles. But me, after having watched AJ Styles for the better part of the last 10, 11 years, I don't need to put up with that bullshit. What I want to see is AJ Styles come right out of the box and be number one contender for a championship or actually have a chance of winning a briefcase or a Royal Rumble match down the road or actually main eventing WrestleMania. If AJ Styles was good enough to be in the running at Sting 10 years ago, he's still just as good 10 years later. So why not start putting him over in these matches with John Cena and Randy Orton? And if you're looking to create stars of tomorrow, obviously a star of tomorrow is not AJ Styles, but I mean AJ Styles could benefit uh, some of these upcoming wrestlers like Adam Rose and Bo Dallas, the social outcast, he would also be phenomenal in feuds with these guys if you're looking to create stars of tomorrow, which obviously is what this new topic, this was purpose, always has been from the get-go. But, I mean, AJ Styles, I mean, he's not a relatively new wrestler because, obviously, wrestling fans have considered him a legend for years. And, obviously, it's really apparent now that for the first time ever, things are actually happening for AJ Styles, things we have talked about and discussed for years. The conversation has always been, you know, AJ Styles belongs in WWE, and I'm really proud now to realize that he's finally there where he belongs and has belonged uh, for years, because one thing you probably figured out by now is that I'm a huge uh, AJ Styles fan, as I've been a fan of many legends over the years. There's no secret or denial coming from me that I've always found time in supporting legends who have come back to challenge the new talent initiative because they belong in the wrestling business and they feel that the new talent initiative are disrespected. Uh, legends a lot of the time, and I think that these legends deserve more credit than what they are given for because I think WWE are just putting these new talent initiative wrestlers in the ring with all these legends just to create these stars. So I think that, you know, it's great when legends do what they do, and I think it's just great seeing AJ Styles and WWE doing what he's doing, still having that same reputation he garnered for himself 10 years ago. And he, if there ever was a guy, uh, let me just say this, who scratched his way to the top of the professional wrestling business. You can talk about people like Daniel Bryan and Seth Rollins all you want, but if there ever was a guy who scratched his way to the top from the surface, it obviously is uh, someone like an AJ Styles because nobody really ever took uh, AJ Styles as serious as what he's being taken now, and there's no way anyone's going to buy into the idea that finally AJ Styles is being taken serious enough to be WWE champion because what they're trying to do here is just reintroduce AJ Styles. And I think that, you know, even though this is completely stupid, I think there's something that could happen for AJ Styles, and hopefully it happens soon enough because I think wrestling fans, you know, AJ Styles has never been taken seriously enough, and I think he definitely should benefit. Uh, from coming to WWE rather than being a victim of the same kind of treatment we've seen so many uh, TNA wrestlers suffer from over the years because their track record, as we know, uh, has never been that hot when uh, bringing in these TNA wrestlers when you would expect them to do something big. I mean, Marcus Corvon should take you down memory lane. Uh, Chris Harris should take you down memory lane. And I'm hoping that people like AJ Styles and Samoa Joe change the way we have chosen to look at these TNA wrestlers who have shown up in WWE for a few minutes and then gone just a few minutes later. It seems like they're here one minute and gone the next having done nothing with their WWE career and ultimately what they reflect back on in interviews on the internet for radio shows and for written columns is their time spent in an organization where they were actually treated differently either in TNA Wrestling or WCW or something because they were never uh, given the benefit of the doubt in WWE and I think what it goes back to is how they were never with WWE from the get-go and how they were always against uh, a company like WWE. What it comes back to is the loyalty that a wrestler has uh, for WWE and how you are treated years down the road. I mean, obviously, The Rock, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, The Undertaker are Vince McMahon and Triple H's favorites, and because of their loyalty, that's why they're treated uh, the way they are. But because AJ Styles and Sting were never loyal to WWE, that's the why they're victims of being treated so horribly and why we've chosen uh, to look at their treatments as horribly as what we have. And who can blame wrestling bands for looking at the uh, treatments of these wrestlers as horribly as what we have after having known the reputations they've had for companies like TNA and even on the Independence World Championship Wrestling, ECW, whatever. And you feel, obviously, because you're diehard fans of World Championship Wrestling, TNA, ECW, whatever, the Independence Circuit, obviously you feel these wrestlers should be treated a lot better. And I can understand why you're conflicted about how AJ Styles is being treated now. It took them years 
to finally recognize the potential of AJ Styles and get over by trading him the way he is now. Should WWE be getting away with this? I don't know. Uh, but I'm hoping that AJ Styles benefits down the road and something more promising happens for him than what is happening for him right now. Because putting him in matches with the likes of The Miz and the Social Outcasts is one way of putting over AJ Styles. Because I just recently saw a tag team match with Chris Jericho and AJ Styles facing the Social Outcasts. I can't remember what members of the social outcasts they face. But that's one way of distributing AJ Styles. But really, do you want to see him feuding with the likes of the social outcasts, or would you rather be seeing AJ Styles feuding with the likes of John Cena and Randy Orton? I think the answer to that question is pretty obvious. You'd rather be seeing him feuding against the champion, in this case Triple H, or someone like a John Cena or Randy Orton, because you feel that AJ Styles doesn't belong in the ring with someone like the social outcasts, who are nobodies in comparison to AJ Styles. Putting Adam Rose up against AJ Styles or Curtis Axel is really a joke because AJ Styles is a legend. If you've known anything about AJ Styles for years, you remember his matches, his classics with the likes of Sting and uh, Samoa Joe and Christopher Daniels. The Ultimate X matches, uh, which is something that I forgot to mention here, were incredible. Ultimate X is 1 and 2 with Samoa Joe and Christopher Daniels. They were incredible matches. I've spoken to many people who have wrestled in the Ultimate X matches, and they were just so incredible, and they are a true testament out of how far someone like AJ Styles has come. So putting him in the ring against someone like Adam Rose about 10 years out of these phenomenal Ultimate X matches, 1 and 2, I mean, it's really a joke. So AJ Styles, in my opinion, yeah, probably at the end of the day belongs in the ring with John Cena and Randy Orton, probably ever before he's ever given credit for being, belonging in the same ring uh, with the likes of John Cena and Randy Orton. Even Brock Lesnar you can put AJ Styles in the ring with and he would create with. I mean, if you can put CM Punk in the ring against Brock Lesnar, and then obviously you can do the same thing with AJ Styles, and AJ Styles probably would have an even better match uh, with Brock Lesnar if ever given the credit. Can you imagine the magnitude of AJ Styles versus Brock Lesnar? I spoke on the magnitude of AJ Styles versus Triple H, but can you imagine the magnitude of AJ Styles versus Brock Lesnar and the revenue and the attention that would garner uh, from a match like that? It wouldn't even have to be uh, for the championship, it could be determined the number one contender, and I still think it would get the same amount of attention as it would if it were a championship match or a main event of an event like WrestleMania or SummerSlam. So there's obviously a endless amounts of opportunities that you can create uh, off of AJ Styles. It's just a matter of going back to having confidence in someone like an AJ Styles and really running with his character, who we've seen so many metamorphoses of over the years. We saw him go from the phenomenal AJ Styles to the Prince. A phenomenal. We saw everything with Kurt Angle and Karen Angle and how AJ Styles was involved in an affair uh, with Karen Angle. Again, you know, he had so many opportunities to create with some of the biggest names in professional wrestling. And it will be argued for years that AJ Styles is a surefire Hall of Famer and probably belongs in the Hall of Fame ever before he will go in uh, to the Hall of Fame. If the Hall of Fame was ever built uh, for superstars, it was built for the likes of people like Christopher Daniels, AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, Sting people who deserve to go in the Hall of Fame probably ever before they will be inducted. Uh, and if there ever was a person the Hall of Fame was built for, it obviously was uh, someone like an AJ Styles. And all you have to do is go on YouTube and look back at some of the lateral part matches of AJ Styles' career. The lateral part of AJ Styles' TNA career is what I'm thinking of here. All you have to do is go on YouTube and watch those matches because they are a true definition of how far AJ Styles has come in such a short period of time. I mean, 10 years doesn't seem... Uh, like a short period of time, but it really is, and it goes by way too fast. But go on YouTube and look up some of these matches of his past career and the past evidence he's been involved in, and you will really, you know, get a better illustration of just how good of a wrestler AJ Styles is, you know. And if you can give the same kind of opportunities to Daniel Bryan that you did, you can give those opportunities to someone like AJ Styles. If you were looking for an answer uh, to a superstar like a Daniel Bryan or a Seth Rollins, it obviously is. Uh, AJ Styles, but again, you know, do you really have the confidence if you're a member of WWE Creative for the writing team uh, to give AJ Styles these opportunities? Do you think he's someone who deserves to be paid well within the six figures? Obviously, he's not selling as much merchandise as a Stone Cold Steve Austin or Rock from back in the day, or as John Cena and Randy Orton of the present time currently are. Uh, but if you really endorse AJ Styles, like Stephanie and Triple H have been doing, and really push his character, I think there is an endless amount of opportunities to create off of someone like AJ Styles and to really push uh, this new talent that can shift in a very different direction from what you've been pushing it for the better part of the last four or five years. We all know who AJ Styles is, so it's bullshit having to reintroduce him. I do agree with that, so he doesn't need to be reintroduced. And I think right out of the box, what we should have been seeing for someone like AJ Styles is opportunity after opportunity to win championships and to garner a reputation for himself. He's never had the chance to do in WWE. We've seen what he can do in TNA. We've seen what he can do on the independents. So let's take it a step up. Let's go a little bit further 
uh, with AJ Styles and see what he can do 10 years after his reputation has been established. Is he an established name in 2016 like he was? Back in 2006, you had better goddamn well believe uh, that he is just an established name as he was 10 years ago. Because if you don't, then you obviously don't know anything about AJ Styles or how far he's come in a, in a short period of time. Because 10 years seems like a long period of time, but it really isn't. And I think that AJ Styles certainly has come a considerable way. So he definitely deserves to be rewarded for coming as far as what he has and paying dividends. If there was someone who paid for his sins and paid dividends in professional wrestling and strided to get to the top, it obviously was AJ Styles, and there's really only one way of defining how far AJ Styles has come, and it's only by saying that he is phenomenal. There's only one way of doing it, and that's by defining him as the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, someone who isn't going to be forgotten for a very long time. So I want to know what your opinion is on AJ Styles. You can get in on the conversation by leaving me some comments at the bottom of this video in the comments of this video with Jonathan Clark 22. That's my YouTube channel. You can tweet me on Twitter at Jonathan Clark 1 and you can get in touch with me on Facebook and Google Plus at HEW Entertainment. Uh, same name for both different accounts and you can let me know uh, what your thoughts are on someone like AJ Styles because I think I can get away with saying that AJ Styles is a very promising future. Uh, professional wrestling, as I previously said, my series of videos devoted uh, to AJ Styles, and I think uh, AJ Styles could be considered as a champion down the road. Maybe not right away, uh, but he's someone who should be being taken more seriously than probably what he is right now, chosen to be taken more seriously by wrestling fans. Fans are cho choosing to take him serious, but not as many as I would like. Uh, for to be taking AJ Styles series because I think AJ Styles is a very promising future and it's something that we cannot go on uh, without recognizing for far much longer. So hopefully uh, that promising future and the prediction of not just my 